challenges. What challenges does that create for as a secondary? Um, well, you know, by them being in wide splits, splits, you know, you got to focus more on your technique and just keep you focus on keeping your leverage and make sure you know what you're doing and making sure that they are not like just basically playing to your leverage. So, um, so you're not getting out playing or you're just not giving yourself away. Charlie. Do you think about your interception that was locked away a lot last year? Just you go back and look and see what maybe could have been different on that play? Um, well, no, I haven't looked at that play since the Monday after the game. I believe we watched the film with Coach. So, I mean, that, that's last year. Kind of focused on this year. Focused on doing what we need to do to execute and play fast and physical as a defense this week. So, haven't really went back and looked at that. In the middle, Rhoda. You and Terry have been around for a couple of years now, you know, with with Nick Saban. And just how's your relationship with him changed? And are you more comfortable with him, just kind of talking back and forth in practice at all? Um, yeah, me and Terry, we work we work good together. I feel like just me and him being on the field together, me and him spending a lot of time, like even before we got here, just knowing each other. I feel like me and him are real brothers. I'm very thankful to have a guy like Terry around because I know he'll tell him when I'm wrong, and I tell him when I'm wrong, he's wrong, and I feel like that made us better as a unit. Better, better as cornerbacks, just, you know, criticizing each other, getting on each other, telling each other when we're right, telling each other when we're wrong, because that's that's the most important. But I'm pretty sure we tell each other when we're wrong more than we tell each other when we're right. Just to, what about Coach Saban, too? Um, I feel like Coach Saban do a good job with everybody in the defense uh, on the back room. He's with us most of the time. Um, so I feel like he does a good job of making sure that everybody's their best. He do a great job. Just being a, He's just a great coach, I would say, you know, just, Make sure that every player is doing their best, or if you're not doing your best, you're going to get on your butt and make sure that you are doing your best and you are doing what you're capable of doing. I feel like he know how to bring the best out of everyone. No problem, Kerry. Thank you, Lady. When you look at tape of them, what stands out to you about their quarterback, Joe Milton? Um, I feel like their quarterback is a good player. He has a very strong arm. He can make all those. Um, I feel like he's very smart and he understands he understand what the offensive coordinator is trying to get accomplished with their offense. Uh, Terry, I shared with us last week, a couple weeks ago, um, just insight into why he might trash talk on the field. I was curious if you could maybe share some of your trash talking tactics too. Uh, well, uh, I don't really, I don't really like to um, talk to the team because I mean, <laughs> it's really pointless. You got to play, play out the play. I mean, what I'm saying between after the whistle or before the whistle is really pointless. I mean. I got to play this now, just like you got to play this now. So it's really important to us talking about in general. Nick Calvert. To what extent have you noticed the cigar tradition that happens whenever Alabama and Tennessee play? Um, I have seen, I mean, I'm not really looking forward to it. I'm just really looking forward to celebrating with my guys, you know, having fun with my team, and just doing what we need to do, like I said, to execute and get the job done. That's, that's my main focus, and I really focus on cigars. Charlie? Uh, their receiving core is a little different than last year. Just what stands out about the guys they have replaced in Hyatt and even Rue McCoy? Um, those guys are, are good good players. They Like I said, they also understand the scheme that the coach is trying to get accomplished. I feel like they do their job. They don't try to do too much out, outside of what they need to be doing. I feel like they play very hard and they, they block on the outside. I feel like they run good routes and I feel like those guys are good players too. Katie? As a guy that grew up in Alabama, how much was the Alabama Tennessee rivalry something you kind of were aware of? And maybe how did your perception of it change last year when they snapped the street? Uh, well, honestly, I just just growing up here, I always knew about Alabama and the Auburn and Florida, and I knew about the Alabama and Tennessee just because most of my family is either Alabama fan or Auburn fan. So I didn't really understand that the rivalry between Alabama and Tennessee was such a big deal until I got here. And now that I'm here, I realize that it's very important. Mike Rota. One of the things that Terry on said is you like to kind of get the guys had it. You know, you might say that you're a man and you're actually in zone. Just how long have you done that and does it help at all? Um, yeah, I feel like I feel like it um, it works all the time because um, <laughs> I feel like I kind of um, like you said, like to get the guys head. Kind of kind of just me being me and just being confident in our scheme and just you know just. Telling guys stuff to confuse the other players that are on the side of the ball because I know they're listening. I know they're trying to figure out what we're doing, and as we do so many different things, I know they're trying to figure out what we're doing and what we're doing. So I might just say little slick things so they think we're doing something the whole time we're doing another, or we 
might be really doing that. So you never know what's really going on. So just kind of the way I like to play, just me being confident in the scheme and the guys around me, I feel like I can do those things. All right, with Nick Kelly. Yeah, the, the tempo that Tennessee's offense runs with, uh, how does that make defending against the run more difficult? Um, well, you know me, I kind of defend the pass more than the run. So, I mean, by those guys being very wide splits, I don't feel like I'll be really, really a part of the run game pretty much this game. So, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I knew going fast, it can't affect them, affect them and help them get yards because you have to get lined up and just know your key. What kind of teammate is Deontay Lawson? Is he kind of grown into a guy that when he speaks, everyone kind of listens? Yes, I feel like Deontay Lawson has grown into a big role this year. I feel like he's grown, grown into like the quarterback of our defense. I feel like when he gets when everyone when he speaks, everyone listens because we know we can trust him. We know he knows he knows the scheme and he knows exactly what he's talking about. So I feel like he's grown up very well, and I feel like he's a great, he's a great player. I feel like he's done very good things around here to earn the respect that we have. Anything else? Thanks, Blue.